What's up, YouTubers? Today, we're going to talk about the Joker Knives Ember. This is manufactured out of Spain. Uh, Joker Knives Ember. Designed by Jay Sabater. I don't know who that is, I have to admit. But I learned from this brand from Gideon's Tactical, Aaron, over there about, I don't know, a year and a half ago. And just, just right after that, I went ahead and bought my first one. And it was the Ember. This is a 4.12. You know what? Let me just say this first. Sweden, look out. Truly. Um, this is a 4.12 inch blade of 14C28 Sandvik steel. Um, it is Scandi ground. So this is definitely for wood processing, bushcrafting. Um, it's, it's fairly well center ground. I was actually quite surprised. It may be like literally half a millimeter off there from center, but for the most part, really, really good. This knife weighs 7.1 ounces and it prices with the sheath and the fire steel for $104. This, that, I think they juxtaposed or, or uh, transposed the four and the O. Oh, this, this probably should be about a $140 knife in truth. Just speaking about fixed blades that I've had. Um, speaking of other fixed blades that might be comparisons, let's go ahead and talk about some of those. The one that I kind of used in the, uh, year 2021 with this one as kind of side-by-sides was the Castrum knives out of, also out of Sweden or not also out of Sweden, this is in Spain. Um, the Lars Fault. So that is just a little bit longer blade, but you know, Scandi ground, obviously uh, it's, it's, you know, kind of very similar in terms of its use. Um, the other one that I really, uh, think that it probably compares decently to is the uh the oh the castron by the way that is 145 dollars and then we also have the bark river bravo one so you'll notice that the the, the handle length is about the same as the castron but the bark river has a little bit longer handle length um and it's just a smidgen taller so or longer so yeah that's uh, you know the bravo one is definitely close in there that one's a 230 dollar knife though um you know so that that's kind of what in terms of the pricing goes, as, as things go, that's what we're talking about. In terms of kind of actual price comparable knife and use, you're really talking about the Mora Garberg. Back to Sweden, you know, the castor on the Swedish. Um, the Mora Garberg is the one I've used for years and years, and it was a perfect hand fit. If you look at those handles, really good. Um, the Garberg is a little bit longer, maybe literally like 0.12, so it's like four and a quarter inch blade, Scandi ground, 14C28, and stainless steel. Wow. Um, you know, that's where, this is really where your comparisons are going to start. The Garberg, I want to say, and I have the one with the Molly mounting um, for my vehicle, and that one goes for about $90. $90 with the fire steel leather sheath. Um, versus the Garberg has, I'll go ahead and show this. It has just, um, just kind of, I actually do like that it's, uh, it's fully symmetrical. So you can turn the blade either way inside that sheath. Um, and it's got a good molly mount system. So they're probably a wash in total on that, but you're talking about $90 versus 104 and you get the fire steel. Um, plus we're going to talk about some of those other things. In fact, I'll show some of those right now. You're going to see that the Garberg has a through tang with an over molded plastic. Basically it's very hard and good and and, and well-sized, but you know, this is a full tang over here from the Joker. It has beautiful liners and it has micarta. So let's jump into it. Uh, you know, the pros of this knife, oh my gosh, the sheath, absolutely amazing. I will say it's, it's nice and thick, basically has a drain hole right there at the end. Very good. Uh, this one this particular one you can actually get the other one which does not have the fire steel holder and the fire steel itself for like 84 dollars so it'll be basically the exact same price as the garberg um and you know but i did want this one for the fire steel to go with it actually i didn't notice it until i looked a little bit closer but you'll notice the the fire steel even has joker and it also has micarta as well as the red liner as well so that was just kind of a cool thing it does have a, a dangler love that for when i'm out camping i will say after a year they kind of loosened up a little bit i may have to replace that particular piece um they pop loose kind of easy that'd be one of those cons of this particular knife is that sheath and what had happened to that over a year of use 
Um, though I did not, I will admit, just because it's beautiful leather, I did not throw this around and beat it up. I would set it, you know, on my camp table, and it was basically good to go. It just, I did wear it a lot on my side, and yeah, those those buttons loosened up. Um, so we talked about the price. Like I said, this should be about $140. Um, it's $104, so fantastic. I got, honestly, the steel, 14C28N, really good stainless. I will say I, I rusted this up a couple times, just kind of getting it wet and uh, throwing it back in the sheath. But with just a little bit of steel wool, was able to basically scrub that right off. And I still even have the etching, which shows the Joker ember there, um, as well as the designer. So yeah, this thing's it's it's done really, really well. You can see it's taken one little chip right there at the deflection point. But again, it doesn't affect the performance of it. So really, really good. The steel, and I think what they did um, with the heat treat, no worse than the Garberg. So again, it's, it, <laughs> yeah, fantastic. The handle has a beautiful palm swell. I have medium large hands and this is marvelous. Absolutely. I just, I mean, this is absolutely on par with the, the Bark Rivers, which have a, a great feel too. And then in fact, the cast drum, Lars Fault, um, had, had a good hand swell too. So yeah, in gloves or out, either way, great. The pommel at the end here is I just, on my Garberg, I actually do tend to actually beat on it with a hammer. So you can see that beat up there. But I just, I don't know. This one worked as a fire steel scraper. I did test that out. And yeah, I have no problems believing that this will, I could beat it with the hammers too. But I just, I don't know. I was like, hey, I've got a Garberg with a beat up end. If I need to actually pound through, let's say like some canned goods or whatever, and somebody didn't bring a their Victor Knox, um, Swiss Army to open up cans. Well, we could just pop. We can just cut those open with these. I just, I just did not in the end. But I do know that that pommel on the end there, really, really nice, and will do fantastic. Also, it has a perfect spear point um, edge. I'm not much in terms of like using, um, you know, come to some of the rudimentary, uh, basically bushcraft skills. But I will say, if I needed to, right down the middle of those. Look at that. That spear point is almost perfect it's just right there. in fact it is almost almost perfect spear point so the yeah the, the design of this one in terms of you get a lot of flat for um basically you know batoning through wood to create some some thinner pieces of wood this is great and then it drops just when it needs to um, so really, really good. The tip is extremely strong. Obviously you have the entire thick and the width there with that, you know, that Scandi grind there. So can't complain about that. Um, the spine shoots a great spark. It's not super sharp that it's going to cut your hands at all, but it actually spotted, shot a great spark. Yeah, I know I screwed up on the video on there. I thought I had hit a video, um, but I hit like photo take, multi take or something like that. But yeah, no, I lit you know i scraped tons of fire steel with this thing and it did great you can see it's got lots of uh, maybe i don't know if that'll show up or not lots of good scratches on the back of that thing again where it did corrode or whatever just go ahead and take a little bit of steel wool boom done fantastic so yeah can't complain about that and then this edge feather sticks all day long um it is and we're going to talk about the the last thing which is one of the cons is technically a scandy this blade edge should be completely flat but ironically up here it is flat but as soon as you get to the flats this is actually a little bit concave so the flat here on the edge is actually concave which probably means they were doing it on a belt sander and it basically created a little bit of concavity there not a problem in terms of behavior of it when I go to sharpen it. I haven't had to sharpen this, and I'd use this essentially for about a year for half of my camping trips. I, Like I said, I split the other half with the Castrom, and I just think when I go to sharpen it, it you know, I'm going to end up with a little bit of sharpening on the edge and a little bit of sharpening on the on the heel of the edge here. So that, that concave that concave section in the middle is just going to kind of be left alone. Not a big deal, in all honesty. And like I said, in terms of the performance of this knife, it just didn't have a problem. So I, you know, can I beat it up for that? Mm, if it was by design, no, because I will say from here to here, there's a little bit of hollow grind in that Scandi edge, but 
it did not not perform so to speak so overall if I, what i would say is if you're looking for a four inch plus fixed blade for camping do not hesitate this thing is an absolute champion um truly as good as anything else that you're going to get and for the price uh, you know it's it's a thick boy here don't look for this to cut your apples go ahead and bring a spidey chef or a caribbean um to cut your food stuffs uh, that's going to be great but for anything you're going to need for wood processing anything else i'm not a big hunter but i think i could actually hunt um and and do some things with this so that would be an interesting thing it's time to move on to other knives though so i just i didn't want to say goodbye to this one but it's time to go ahead and get this review out of the way i uh, hope you did enjoy this if you're looking for this do not hesitate um like i said the, the the joker ember is absolutely fantastic hope you did enjoy it like and subscribe if you did and uh take care have a great day